Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to the latest edition of Sports in the North. Topping Sports, Bishop Michael Eldon School held its annual House Sports Day in preparation for Island Sports. There was a number of promising athletes that ran some blistering times for their various houses. There was some stiff competition between Rumkey, Abaco and Inagua. Let's take a look. Let's take it straight to the 4x1 relays. The under 15 boys relay was a runaway for Abaco House. I felt good at the beginning. I thought that he was actually going to lose the race. But then I held on to the race and um, kept behind the boys in front of me and then passed it on to him. He just stayed it on. I feel like we could have done better, but still happy that we got the victory. I know we could have won. We didn't do as good as we should have, but thank Lord for the big victory. Abaco House continuing their dominance in the relays under 20 girls 4x1, led by Carifta Hopeful, Crystalia Hall. It was good. I'm very proud of us because, I mean, we knew we was going to win, right? But like, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. We knew it was pretty easy. You know, nobody could have beat us. We, we had a good and tough. I'm surprised. We're not really surprised, but we won. So that was good. Well, my mindset was just that we had to win, so I just executed, and then I know if I did that, then the rest of the relay would have been good. I was like, boy, I gotta win this relay before I graduate. I gotta take this championship home. I was excited. It's our last year. We came out with a bang. Class of 2020 is out. In the under 20 boys 4x1, Tim and I got off to a good start and never looked back to secure the gold medal. We're coming in the race, we're just trying to get the baton around quick, get the baton around smooth and just come over to win. Simple. I was pretty confident in the race. Like all my teammates said, we already had our race plan and everything and we just had to execute it. We just was focused, trying to get the baton around properly, smoothly and try not to mess up and finish strong and get the win. I was pretty confident in my, my teammates' abilities, so I just, I went out a little early, but yeah, we just uh, used teamwork and come out with the win. This one was good. Perhaps the race of the day was between the teachers, the parents, and the PE department. French teacher, Mr. Louis needed just 10 meters for the upset. Brace yourselves for this one. Celebrating too early definitely cost Mr. Louis and his team the win. Something we teach our athletes not to do was on full display. It's going to be a rough year for Mr. Louis, who had this explanation. I was so excited just to finish the race, and I thought that I beat him, and that was the failure of mine. You understand? And that's what happened. You know, in life, things happen. You understand? We accept it, and you know, next time or next year, we will do better. Hopefully, a lesson was learned. It ain't over until it's over. Wow. In track and field, Bahamian sprinter Divine Paco, who runs for Ohio State University, competed for her university just recently in the Invitational, where she ran in her first meet, running the season's best time of 7.37 seconds in the 60-meter dash preliminaries. She came back in the finals and ran the second best time of 7.39 seconds to set a new meet record. The female sprinter is hoping to qualify for the 2020 Olympic Games. That's your check on sports here in the North. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed.